Assalamualaikum students. We are going to start the next fourth, fifth, and sixth part of class number three of exercise one point three. As A, B, C, and D have some values. These are some matrices. And first we add A in, in a matrix, B in, B in a matrix, C in a matrix. Today we are going to add D in a matrix zero one zero two zero one. For the value of D, we use its value here. One, two, three, minus one, zero, and two. It has ordered two by three, and same here in this matrix, it has ordered two by three. So these can be added into each other. Zero, one, zero, two, zero, one. By adding them, we use the rule of addition that corresponding entries are added into each other. For one, it is added in zero. Two added in one, three added in zero. Next one minus one added in two, zero added in zero, and two added in one. So the answer becomes one plus zero, one, two plus one, three, three plus zero, three, minus one plus two, one, zero plus zero, zero, and two plus one. So this matrix, this is the answer of addition of D in this matrix. For next, we use scalar multiplication with a matrix. We use a scalar number to multiply with a matrix A. We use here two to multiply it in matrix A minus one, two, two, and one. So we know that in scalar multiplication, we use this number multiply it by all the elements of the matrix A. So for this we use two multiply it with minus one. Next one two multiply it with two. Two multiply it with two and two multiply it with one. Now simply use their multiplicative. Two multiply by minus one, it becomes minus two. Two multiply by two, four. Two multiply by two, four, and two multiply by one becomes two. So this is the answer of two a. Two is multiplied in matrix A. So all the elements of A are multiplied with a number two. It is a scalar number two, which can be any real number. K we used last time in example. It becomes two and two multiply with all the elements of matrix A. Now we multiply minus one with a matrix B. Minus one multiplied with a matrix B have an entry in one and minus one. So we can find here minus B matrix minus B by multiplying it with minus one. So for this multiplication, we multiply first element. With minus one and next one second element also with minus one. It is also minus one. So minus one multiplied by one becomes minus one. Minus one multiplied by minus one becomes plus one. So this is the answer of matrix B, which also becomes minus B, the additive inverse of matrix B. So multiplying with minus one, we can find the additive inverse of any matrix. 